430, Maui's mayor says the military is still trying to figure out how it will clean up these 700 gallons of fuel that leaked at a Space Force facility on Haleakala. Eddie Dow has more on his visit to the summit. Eddie. Mark, in an interview today with Star Advertiser's Spotlight Hawaii show, Mayor Richard Bisson said the military has a lot of work to do to restore trust with the public and he instructed the military officials to include local community stewardship groups in the cleanup efforts. I think we are in a post Red Hill climate. During his tour atop Haleakala on Thursday, Bisson says he could smell the fumes from last Sunday's diesel fuel spill. Uh, there was an obvious aroma, you know, the odor uh, that was that was there. Bisson says he also learned more about what led to the 700 gallon spill at the Space Force complex. This uh, complex is when there's a storm and a loss of power, they switch to a generator. The generator has a large capacity fuel um, a fuel uh, tank, and something occurred where the automatic uh, uh, thing that, that causes it to stop the switch uh, didn't engage, and then their backup system also uh, looks like that also failed. So of course they're trying to figure out the reasons why. Bisson says he's not aware of any video surveillance that captured the spill. Right now, the focus is on the cleanup, and he says the military is still working on a plan. There are a few options that they're considering. Um, I think that's the part they're still trying to uh, determine. Comparatively speaking, a pretty small, small um, area, maybe, uh, if I had to guess, maybe six feet by six feet. Bisson says he wants military officials to include community stewardship groups like Kako'o Haleakala in the cleanup discussion. But the group tells us they have no faith the military will listen to them. Of course they should be transparent. Of course they should provide us ways to input so that we can decide for ourselves whether what they plan to do is enough, right? Is enough to protect and clean up our aina. And like I said earlier, uh, history tells us not. You know, you have all these examples where without public scrutiny, um, they have never done the right thing when it has come to um, protecting our aina. Now, Space Force told us in a statement that it is, quote, committed to our responsibility to protect and preserve the environment and will continue to maintain an open dialogue with local communities, regulators, and other stakeholders across Hawaii, end quote. Now, they declined an interview saying they will reveal more details about their plans at a press conference on Monday. Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now.